increasingly people don't want the luxe and finery and the kind of really, you know, plush carpets and and silver, silver, silver. And they can appreciate really amazing food and service in a more relaxed setting that doesn't, you know, that they can feel comfortable in. Well, he cooks and we, what do we do? We charm everyone <laughs> and we give everyone a great experience. Yeah. <laughs> so the first Clove Club was in November 2010 in our flat in Dalston. I remember that first night you came in to our flat with a big tray of uh, poached pears. <laughs> and I was, like the time, I was like, oh hi, how's it going? <laughs> and that was it. We thought it wasn't the right area for us, but we saw this place and were blown away. We were very lucky to get somewhere with so, so much character. We've got quite a big building, but um, the actual back of house space we've got is pretty minimal. And I'm constantly amazed at uh, the kind of diversity and the quality of the food that comes out of the kitchen um, from Isaac and the team. When we found out we were on the list, uh, here, in the office. here got the letter, yeah. Um, there's probably some, some thing you went woo. Some <laughs> fight, some fight or drama or something happening, and I was like, "Nice, quick." We came number five in the National Restaurant Awards um, in our first year. Then we got into World's 50 Best number 87 uh, the year after. Then we came second in the National Restaurant Awards, and then we got our Michelin star last September. This is by far and away the, the most amazing project I've ever been involved in. I never will, I think. Um, and then in terms of where we want to go, um, just keep getting better, I think. Do you want to know your new place on the list? You want to tell us, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so well, your then. new place on the World's 50 Best Restaurants list 2015 is... number 55. No way. Whoa. Amazing. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that. Thank you. Cool.